What's good in the hood? We now welcome UFC Bantamweight Tyler Phillips. Tyler, thank you for the time today, sir. What's up, my man? What's your name? <laughs> my name is Christoph. I'm with the UFC PR team. I'll introduce the uh, journalist for you. Okay, sweet, sweet. We'll take the first set of questions from Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Hey, Kyler. Uh, thanks very much for joining us today. Just wanted to start off flat out. Uh, give us your thoughts on this matchup with Song Yudong. Uh, it's it's just like another fight, another guy standing in the way. Um, I'm still going to just go out there and perform and do the best that I can. And I know that when it's time to shine, it's going to be it's going to be mine. Now, I know you say it is just another fight, but he is ranked uh, 14th in the Bantamweight division. And you're on a big card here, pay-per-view card, three title fights. You're on the televised prelims. Does that motivate you more to go out and make a big statement, knowing that more eyes are going to be on it and potentially this fight could land you in the rankings? I mean, yes and no. You know, like uh, I, the fact that it's a bigger opportunity is definitely going to hype you up more. But at the end of the day, it's the same thing. And all the time, you got to just take every single day, one day at a time, and have fun and make the most of it. And I feel like this fight is just another step. This guy is just another dude in the way. I got to take him out and continue to rise to the top. Good stuff. And, you know, 2020, to put it bluntly, sucked for a lot of people. But for you professionally, you made it to the UFC. You won both your fights once you arrived. What are you looking for in 2021 in terms of building on that success? I'll say it again. Just, the last you, know, you, had a, you had a really good 2020. So I'm kind of curious what you're looking for in 2021 in terms of just building on the success you've already had. Uh, key word you just said, build. I'm just going to keep building my kingdom here and keep building the things that I have to do and not really focus too much on what happens on the outside, but just my priorities is to get to the top and stay there. And like, I just need to keep working inch by inch. And sometimes I'm going to have to take bigger leaps. And I feel like this fight is one of those bigger leaps, but it's just another one. What about uh, Yudong, do you feel uh, makes this a bigger leap? It's just, I mean, it's just the timing of his career and my career. And he's, he's got some big names that he's fought, but not much. You know what I mean? Like, it's like anybody. It's four-ounce glove. You got to respect. But I'm going to put it to him, and I'm, I'm going to be on his ass. All right. And last one for me. When we talk about big fights, none bigger in the division than the title fight on Saturday. Who do you see winning in Yon versus Sterling? You know, I just said that I got, I'm just going to take Jan because, you know, he's it's just his abilities and I feel like his mental fortitude. But Sterling, you can never count him out. And he's just so, uh, he's got a different style of grappling and wrestling than, you know, your average fighter. So it just depends if Jan is able to counteract that and if his style performs well against that lanky kind of, Kind of like uh, it's just a different style, you know, and I feel like uh, it's a different speed. And if he can crack him and he can put him out, but Aljamain can also take him down, and he's got some weird, tricky subs that he can can pull off. All right, well, looking forward to your fight this weekend, and thanks very much for the time. Best of luck. Cool, thanks, man. We will take the next set of questions from Corey Kamershack with UFC.com. Hey, my man, I'll be asking the question. Okay. You can just still respond. All right, all right. Um, so, is this your first time fighting the, uh, the Apex? Do you think uh, it being a smaller octagon will be a factor for you? It's, I mean, it definitely does a little bit, that it, but it doesn't at the same time. So, it's a little bit smaller, but just means there's more action, and I like action. So, let's get to business. And what kind of fight are you expecting on Saturday? I'm fighting, I'm, I'm thinking about a firefight, but I'm also thinking a technical fight. I'm thinking of a multi-dimensional fight, my type of fight. That's uh, the Matrix fight is the one that's, you know, I'm going to be on him and I'm going to take him to different levels. I'm going to, you know, bring him to the sea with me, see if he can swim, you know, and then take him on the mountains. You got some balance. Can you play this game with me? He's going to be playing my game, you know, bring him up to the sky. You, can, you, can you fly? You don't have wings? What's the matter, you know? So I'm going to keep put in new elements, adding new elements of the matrix in there, and he's going to get steps behind, and once I'm able to capitalize, I'm going to unplug him from the matrix. And uh, if things go well for you on Saturday night and you get a win, what do you think this is going to be? Uh, again, it would be cool to, you know, be, break the rankings and stuff, but 
I don't really care. I just want to get good fights and keep going forward. And uh, whoever they put in front of me is that is just another person in the way. So I feel like there's so many people in the division. We just got to take them all out. Cool. And lastly, for me, um, obviously it's a really big fight card, probably the biggest of the year. Um, what's going to be going through your head as you make the walk? Just, just truth, man. Honestly, when I walk in there, when I step in there, I feel like it's it, this is my octagon. You know, like you step in there and. I'm going to sell some things to you and you're going to buy, I'll make you pay. And, you know, once you can't pay anymore, I'm going to evict you. And uh, I just feel like that's my place to be and it feels like where I belong. Awesome. Thank you. We will take the next set of questions from Pablo Santamaria with Noti MMA Ecuador. Hi, Kyle Larry, Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the first thing I want to ask you is how do you feel of being fighting in such a competitive division in the UFC? Uh, it feels great. It feels alive. I feel like I feel more livelihood because it's a more stacked division. And that that being said, it's just more competitive. And when it comes down to business, I do it best. So I'm going to just keep taking what I have and, and uh, moving forward. And I just can't wait. For sure. Uh, you train in MMA lab. So training with the uh, good fighters like uh, Benson Henderson or Shang O'Malley. What do you learn from those fighters? Maniac McGee. <laughs> For sure. Uh, yeah, no, I'm learning a lot, man. Uh, it's not just learning, it's just having fun, too. You know, we go out there and, like, every day in training, it's just, it's a blast and it's a good balance that we get. We get serious when it, when it comes down in time to work hard, we work hard. But also when it's time to have fun, we just enjoy the moment and, you know, take the patience that it needs to do what we have to do, but also, you know, going out there and playing the game. For sure. Uh, how do you see playing this fight against Song Yadong? Do you see a striking war, war or, or a more technical fight? I see a technical fight, but I also see first round, second, third round. I'm a type of fighter that has so many different uh, skill set, and I'm going to bring a big toolbox with me. So, and all those tools are sharp. So it depends how he wants it. You know, however I want to serve it up, I'm going to bring a seven-course meal. You know what I mean? And he's uh, he's going to bring maybe a couple dishes, but I got a seven-course meal, and it's five stars. So, <laughs> some high-quality stuff out there. Okay, and the last one for me: If you get the victory over Song Yedong, would you like to call one someone out? Um, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, thank you very much, Kyler, and good luck on the fight. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kyler. That is all the time we have for you, sir. We appreciate it.